green light. Green light. Okay, good. All right, guys, I'm live again. Um, don't play with that one. That's if that right comes up. apart, then I can see you the in the camera. window, the reflection. Yeah, Mom, I'm going to be moving the camera around. It's live. Mom is helping me because, uh, long story short, I couldn't do it the way I wanted to. You probably can't hear me because I'm not close to the stupid mic. That's why I wanted to use the other mic, but that's not working. Anywho, um, it's the backyard. I can't see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the camera. It's looking at me. Are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? Yeah. How's it look? Well, I see the yard and the roof. Okay. Pretty well, I want to see the straw. Um, now, the job at plant. Can you see the drill in the shop, Mom? Yep. Where the drill is, that see that green strip of metal? That's flash, food flash. That has been there since the dawn of time. In fact, I think in the mid nineties, uh, somebody replaced this food, and I think they reused the flashing because they were cheap. Mom, uh, there's a little gauge that goes up and down down the audio. Is that you the see green anything line with the mic? Does it look like it's picking me up? It looks like it. Okay. So, uh, there's the bathroom window, there's my air conditioner, that's the back of my, that air conditioner is right behind my computer screen, where all my training normally happens, and that's all the water that the air conditioner picks up, so that's all fine. The flashing back there was actually pretty good. The problem, where it leaked last time when we got a lot of rain, was basically somewhere around right under that bathroom. Somewhere the rock. Just yet. But if I can get down close, you see the flashing now? Yeah. See how that green flashing is all heaved up in the air? It's all up in the air. All the nails, I can just take them with my thumb and I can actually push them right down in the hole. I don't even need a hammer. But it doesn't stay because the holes are worn out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out all these nails and replace them with screws. And hopefully the screws will bite enough to hold it. Now, I don't, I'm, I'm thinking that the rainwater leaked in one of those holes from the old nails, but I have no idea. I, I find it hard to believe that because that flashing has been heaped up in the air like that for as long as I can remember. Like every time I came out in the roof and it wasn't that often. I would just take my feet, my you know, my boots or whatever, and just stomp them all back in because they went in that easy. That was it. But every other time I looked out the window, they, it'd just be up there. So the fact that after all this time that's leaking, I don't know. It's weird. Anywho, I'm going to try to fix that. Now, this is where you're going to come in, Mom. Tell me if I'm looking at the right thing. I don't think anybody's there. Is anybody talking in the chat? On the right no. side of OBS? No. Nobody's talking? No. I heard you was there before. Oh, boy. I just did a whole intro and nobody's there. Um, in that chat it. window, huh? They could replay it. Yeah. Is the camera still working? Yeah. Okay. In that chat window, can you click where you type to talk? And just type in refresh if it's if there if you don't see anything. Like send a message. Yeah. No. Click send a message. No, there's a, you hover your mouse over the area where you got to type, just like Facebook. Click on it once so that there's a cursor. Yeah. And then just start typing. Say refresh if you don't see anything. Is it working? No. You have to click on the area to type. 
right here. Oh. There. What do you want me to do? Can Type refresh? refresh if you don't see anything. It's not typing. It's not typing? No. Even with the keyboard, it won't work? Mm -hmm. Put it again. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> oh, careful. I'm trying. And then how do I enter? Here. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to angle this camera so that it's looking at the flashing thing. Only when you see the drill. I see it. See it now? Mm-hmm. Is it too high, too low? No, it's fine. It's fine where it is. Still good? Yep. All right. Give me the box screws. We'll start. Which box? The old box or the new box? The new one. Only going to use those old screws, if, those other screws, if I really have to. Old, dried up roof cough. I don't have any cough, so hopefully we won't need that. Look, just, just pulling the nails right out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody's talking in the chat? No. Weird. Sturgeon was just there. <laughs> maybe he's busy. Oh, I think maybe he doesn't realize. Does it say down on the very bottom of OBS? Does it say that I'm live? You mean uh, the very bottom, bottom line of OBS? It says OBS and then numbers. Does it say like dropped frames or anything like that? No. No. I can't. I have to look at it. I have to see if we're even freaking live. And as soon as I touch something, the, the freaking webcam's going to disconnect. We're live. Okay. How do you see that? Down here in the bottom, there's a little blue light that says live next to it. It's tiny. Oh, over there. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're live. Well, it's biting, but the screws don't stop spinning when you get to the bottom. So. They just keep spinning. Holes are really. Is it not holding it down then? Well, it's holding it down. I mean, I think it'll be okay. It's usually when you put a screw in, it bites and it says, and it doesn't let you turn it anymore. How come? But these holes are so stripped out. Okay, that one I just no, that one I just pushed in by hand. I don't know what to do with this one. Maybe caulk. I don't want to resort to caulk. Is the wood bad? But the holes are all too big. It's been like this for so long. Maybe if I can get some of them to bite in. No, see, I'm just pushing it straight through. Maybe my hot glue. Hot glue. Yeah, you're funny. Man. I wonder if I can get a screw through the siding. The, the flashing, I mean, the metal. Oh, wow. Maybe the wood is going to run. Because I just put a screw in a brand new spot. It is holding it at least. But it still didn't really tighten nice. No.
notes there so I can collect them later. Nobody saying anything yet? Nope. There's nobody's around. Should be working. Oh well. Probably find out after it's all done that nothing worked. <laughs> pretty bad. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if this is going to do anything. I really don't. Well, it's kind of holding it down. That one. Flex heel. Do you see what I'm trying to do? Yep. How is flex seal going to do anything? I don't know. It suited in there or something. Well, they got to rip up the roof to put wood down, right? Yep. The thing is, this is under the eaves. That's why this hasn't been a problem for 20, 30 years, however long it's been like this. I think it was probably just a fluke with the rainwater blowing up under. What or it could have been snow? from. What's going to happen with snow? Well, it didn't happen in the snow last year. It was like this. It's it's holding, mostly. Every once in a while, there's a screw that I can pull right back out. But for the most part, it's holding. A lot better than it was, anyway. That or not. I think maybe this seam here might have been called really up. I'm going to have some screws and some nice holes here. Somebody, probably me, stuck some bigger nails in a couple of these spots trying to make a difference. So. Put in some of the nails back in and then put screws in next to them. Want to feel like they're holding. Now I gotta try to get a screw from two layers on this side. So it's flat. Um, they can't hear a word I'm saying over here, right? I don't know. Is the meter moving? The green line at the bottom? Yeah. Well, it's moving for you. Is it moving for me? Test, 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 test. Don't say. Did you see anything? Yep. All right. It's not like I can do anything about it anyway. Come on, buddy. That was better.
Friday. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. At least we're putting in really nice screws with, with a nice water coating, uh, waterproof coating. <laughs> so they won't rust out like the nails. But that's what all these dollops are costing. I'm going to work my way back that way. Put another one in next. Although there is a nail still. Try. <laughs> when it just pushes down like that, you know it ain't doing squat. Dipping in more screws than there were nails before, but some of these really aren't doing it. Wondering if maybe what happened was something with the gutter. Water came wrapped around this aluminum and ended up coming back. Juicy doesn't go. Not clogged up with the downspout loose before. I just noticed a lot of crud fall out from behind the siding. I'm wondering if that's where the leak is. Nobody saying anything yet? Nope. I wonder if I'm says I'm live. Because nobody showed up yet. Usually I get like one or two people. <laughs> Gotta clean up all these nails after I'm done. Really bad over here. Just pulling them out. And taking any effort to take those pieces out. Still say live on the bottom? Um, Mom? The green light is on. Yes, it does. Okay. You're just there mostly in case. I need something. <laughs> I 
I must have found a stud. That one actually bit. Oh, crap, this is kind of weird. Does it look like you can see what I'm doing at all, Mom? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll put a screw in there. You know what? Give me the other box of screws. Yeah. I'll try some longer ones. See if they bite anything. Right down to the end. Doesn't make it there, but it doesn't. Wow. That's a problem. I have to stay straight on through. Put that one in. I'm starting to get. The extra length is me. Oh, your friend is on. What? Your friend is on. I can't hear him. He says, oh, good. I'm over here by the air conditioner. I can't hear you. What? Your friend is on now. Who? Sturgy O. Sturgy. Hi, Sturgy. Is it working? You're not going to hear anything, probably. I'm going to be over there too far away from the mic. He but... said yes. Okay. Well, you won't as soon as I go back over there. <laughs> Unless that mic is godly good and I never realized. We can see you. Good. Good, good, good. This is probably where it's leaking.
to let them know now that putting screws in to replace the nails just to fill the hole. But the holes are so big, these new screws are still just spinning. So then I'm going to put more new screws next to the ones that I just put in to fill the holes. So it will hopefully bite a bit better. I know damn well you can hear it. This one doesn't overlap. I'm just get wet. <laughs> Well, it's a hell of a lot better than it was. Well, I might do it. I don't know. I'm trying to clean up at least most of the nails. I don't know. It's not worth it. Still gonna be a bunch up here, but I think we pointed this out to B Man when he was up here, Mom. Yeah. And I think he said, "Don't worry about it if it's not leaking." Basically. Well, now it is. Yeah. But I'm hoping it was a fluke, though. We'll find out when I we get the remnants of Hurricane Ida. I have my own idea what to do. What? What's your idea? Let's put like a, a piece of thin wood 
like or metal across this like new flashing on top of the old flashing and angle it so that the water runs across the roof and nail that to the siding. Here's the problem. You're still dealing with the rotten wood. I mean, you might not have to put a nail in that. What's going to hold down the new metal, Mom? Hopes and dreams. The wood that's under the siding. That's what's rotten. On the bottom part. Oh, you're saying hook it under the siding? Yeah. It's got to be nailed down here, too. Can't only be nailed down here. Um, well. Well, you'd nail it onto the roof then and not that board that goes across. What? You'd nail it to the roof and not the board that goes across beneath the house. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the green flashing. It screws down into the roof. Oh. <laughs> that's what's so all that's rotten. The part under that, yeah. that end. Well, I mean, it's Which not all end. rotten, but the, the, the holes. Well, actually, even when I try to make a new hole, it's barely biting. But everything's all down now, flat. I mean, here. It would have to be a long flash. Mm hmm. And all these old nails. There's no garbage can in there, huh? Put them in your pocket when you get out. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to rake myself over them when I'm trying oh. to get out. No tetanus and all. The stream is just looking at my back right now. Sorry, I'll move in a minute. In my arm. Everywhere. Yeah, over there. Doesn't matter. Okay. I think they got most of the nails that were loose on the roof. Not all of them, but most of them. Well, I need to do more right here. Okay. The ones that don't stick, you can put this on top of it first. How's that gonna help? I don't know. The problem is it's not biting down what you're screwing into. It's not the head that's the problem. It's the other end. So here you see the flashing that I just did. And as you can see, it's at least down relatively flat. It's not super flat. It's pretty wavy, but it's not way up in the air like it was. Actually, I'm going to go back. Zip some more screws and see if I can get this into place. One more one straight here. I'll start at this end again and go back over again. But I just wanted to show you the improvement, I think. I think I made it better than it was anyway. But the problem with water is once it finds a path, it'll keep going that way. It always takes the easy path of least. Uh, let me, before I mount the camera, just show you what else I did the other day when I was out here looking Careful. over. I know. This is the upper roof. This is the roof that no matter what happens, I would never touch. It's way too steep, it's way too high, it's way too scary. That chimney, do you see the chimney, Mom? Yes. That chimney was about four or five feet higher than it is now. And about, how many years ago was that, Mom? Five. Two? No, four what? or five. Five years ago? Maybe five. Four or five years ago, the top part of the top four feet of that chimney, at least four feet, broke off and fell down. See that patch of newer shingles there on the roof? One piece went down vertical, and then the other piece fell on top of it, hammering it right through the roof. Actually, down in the uh, kitchen, it uh, broke a couple of ceiling tiles, and uh, we were lucky that the bricks wedged just right between the two rafters, or else that section of, of chimney would have gone right through the refrigerator in the kitchen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we had somebody fix that. First 
um, got rid of the old brick, patched up there, and, and, and tarped off the top here. And then eventually they had somebody come in and do a permanent fix there to put the cap on the top. It ain't super pretty, but it works. Yeah, that happened. That, that chimney was seen in the Always seen like that, but eventually it was the water frost got in between the tree and froze the frost. But yeah. Storm mode was All right. Now, right under the window here, a little heaped up and I'm just going to start at this end and go all the way over. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is this gutter up here is clear. It's always been clear. It never once been clear. But this downspout, one of the screws on that hanger popped out. Just like this flashing, it just didn't have anything to bite to. And um, this whole downspout fell off and hit this one on its side. And after that happened, that was the same time we had the storm, Hurricane Henry, or whatever it was, which really wasn't that much worse, but it was not much worse. That's when it leaked. So I think that somehow had something to do with the leak, even though that happened here, and the leak was over there under the bathroom window, like where the boxes of screws are. So I'm not sure. Hmm. I think maybe what happened, though, is when that downspout was loose and off, this whole gutter was tilted back a little bit more than it is now. And it's still got a healthy tilt back and stuff like that. It's not too crazy stuff. But I think maybe what happened was the water in the gutter was coming out here where my finger was, was rolling off the back of the gutter. And maybe it ran down this aluminum under the eaves here. And sometimes water can even run uphill. And then it ended up at the flashing, and that's maybe why it leaked when that flashing was messed up for so long and didn't leak before. It's a theory. I don't know if there's anything to it, but it's a theory. This gut, this downspout was pop riveted on, so up here I couldn't really do anything to reattach it. But it's relatively solid because I reattached it real good against the house. So I think it'll last. Maybe I could try to take one of these screws, get through the metal up here, try to attach it up here. I, I don't know. The metal's kind of torn because it ripped off already once, so I don't know if I'll get anywhere with that. But anyway, let me put you back on the tripod. Are you looking? How's it look, Mom? Um, I just see this window. Yeah, I see the whole side going. You can see the flashing? The other side, yep. Yep. Of course, I'm going to be right in the shot, but whatever. Right, now I'm going to start, like, right under the window and go back. Check what's still loose. Nice breeze. I don't want those bits. Yeah, at least the wind was. It's a lot nicer today. I was worried it was going to be 80 and bright sunshine today, and it wasn't. Thank God. So here, still kind of up in the air. Now all they can see is my back, right? Yep. <laughs> Not much I can do about that. So I here I'm like sticking my finger under. Yeah, sometimes there's lurkers. And uh, the only part where it's really a little bit loose, I'm going to stick a screw in there. When you say like one viewer at the very bottom of the screen, you might not be able to see where it says live. Maybe it doesn't say, I don't know. I don't remember if it says that or not. 74. No. <laughs> no. 
There's not 74 viewers. <laughs> I've never had 74 viewers. <laughs> 74 I something else. Anybody. I, don't know. Yeah. I don't know how you can tell. Nobody's saying anything? No. Well, it's Sunday. People are out and about, too, maybe. <laughs> Okay. Found some wood there. Hey people. Me just me here and maybe one other. Oh, Sergi said that? Yeah. Thank you, Sergi. Yeah, it's Sunday. People are out and about, probably. Okay, this looks pretty good. This does not. <laughs> Couldn't be able to do that. I, think. I know that chair is not too comfortable. It's okay. That's not a screwdriver right there. That's a screwdriver. Oh, I thought it was going to bite. It's not as good for a minute there. See how fast the drill went? Because it's not biting into anything. How many screws I'm putting in here? Because it's been forever, but I think that one bit at least. I don't want to keep going crazy with the screws. It's more screws, it's just more holes. It's down. It's not way up in the air anymore. Every every hole has a screw or an old nail in it still. So I think that's probably what the problem with the nails were heaved up so much out of the holes that the holes were just open for the rainwater to get into. And all I had to do was find one spot. I think it managed to go back under the eaves or behind even maybe behind the siding or something. And that's how it found the hole. But we could test it out. I could drop. I it's going to rain um, really a lot Wednesday. Yeah. Because, I mean, Thursday. the siding is dirty back here. Yeah. So I could get the hose and hose it off. How would you get the hose up there? I just drop a rope down to you. You tie the hose on the end of oh the rope God. and I pull it up. That's okay. No? It's after oh, seven. Okay. Now. All right. Well, then I guess that's pretty much it for up here. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, stop the stream pretty soon. Well, just about now, actually. Um, put all my toys away, and then maybe up in my room, I'll stream again a little bit later. But maybe not, because it's already pretty much dinner time. But um, I don't know. I guess I did what I did here. And it's going to rain in a couple days anyway. And we'll see if we made any difference. Hopefully, I don't know. cross your fingers, but it's still pretty gnarly up here. And I think the next step would be really what it would be what a roofer would do anyway is they would they would rip out this freaking flashing. This this flashing is probably it's probably from the '60s. It's that old because it was reused in the '90s when the roof was redone. So. Um, you know why? Because he didn't want to have to get it out from behind the siding and put the new new flashing in. But that's what really would need to be done. Somebody would have to put in new flashing that probably comes out a bit further, so you'd run into new wood that hasn't been touched yet. They'd have to put new wood down, right? I'm thinking if if the see this flashing only comes out about what three four inches. If you had bigger flashing that came out oh out here, 
then you'd be finding a whole different part of the wood. That's that was my idea. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if you did that with new flashing coming out here, then you'd be finding new wood and it and it would probably take the screws. And of course if a roper did it, he would use nails because they're cheaper. Maybe if we yelled at him, hey, can you use screws, please? What about wood on, on the other side, like against the house? Uh, that's not going to be a problem, I don't think. Oh. What is going to be a problem is they're going to have to pull up the siding up to this spot here. To they get the old the flashing, flashing off and put the new flashing. They put it on top of the old flashing. No, no, no. you got to rip this old stuff out. That's what really, that would be the permanent correct fix. You would rip out all this green stuff that's been here since the 60s. And you would put a new flashing that goes up behind the siding here and comes out to like here. And then you'd have, you'd have new wood to put your screws into. And then the problem which should be solved forever. Okay. Really. But for now, let's see if this fixed it. The thing that's been saving this, that this is so bad for so long and it hasn't leaked, is the eaves come out to here, the roof above. So there really shouldn't be much of any water back here. So I think it was probably a fluke because we had that Hurricane Henry. So the, the, the rain was probably blowing a bit, although I'll the wind wait. wasn't that bad. Okay. And whatever, I'm not French. Um, and on top of that, this gutter, I think, was tilted back further than it should have been. And I think the water was coming out the back of the gutter, maybe. And then it maybe it, it ran along the aluminum and up in here and then got where it shouldn't have gotten. So hopefully between the downspout being fixed and this being flattened down and none of these holes being open, hopefully it won't leak when it rains. We'll find out in a few days. Anywho, that was my rooftop stream, I guess. Uh, Red Bear 773 signing off. We press stop streaming. It's the same button that was start streaming. Over on the right, there's like these bars of buttons. I can probably do it if you can't. Top right there. It's gray already. Oh. I pressed a different one. Stop streaming.